This is the Harbor Freight Buck Stove, little cook stove. It uh, costs one hundred and forty-three dollars with the discount, twenty-five percent discount. Um, the crate measures twenty-nine this way, fourteen this way, and it is eighteen inches tall. I'm gonna take apart the wooden crate and uh, put it together. Uh, shipping was only six ninety-nine. Sadly, my stove arrived broken. It looks like it fell, and this part chipped off, and it's not meeting correctly there. Um, if it looks like I can pop this down, I can weld that back on, and I'll call it good. But if not, I'll have to return it. So I got it clamped back together here, so that edge is not, no longer raised. So I'm going to grind that and do a little weld there, and grind it smooth. All right, I've welded it. Now I need to grind it smooth. Uh, one thing I did notice was the stove actually lit on fire. It has a little bit of oil on it, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I'm using my Harbor Freight welder to weld up the Harbor Freight stove. So uh, I'll grind that smooth, and then I'll work on remanufacturing the front piece. All right. After a generous amount of grinding, it looks like that. You can barely see where the crack used to be. So um, you can leave a little bit of slag on the back side uh, because the piece actually fits over it. This is the piece I brought out here. It fits over it. So, yeah. so that fits perfectly. So what I gotta do now is uh, see if I can get these pieces, the puzzle piece back together and weld them together. I'll probably weld them together separately and then uh, fit them on there and tack weld them and then go to town on it. All right, there we go. She's all welded back together. Now time to get the grinder out and smooth her down. I found the welder works best on three. This is the uh, Harbor Freight uh, 90 amp flux wire welder. So um, now I'm going to grind it smooth and it'll be ready for paint. Grind off all the slag. So yeah. Little detour in uh, putting together the stove. So it's repaired. About 40 minutes later. Only about 15 minutes of, gr of welding and about 30 minutes of grinding. So we're for ready for high heat paint. Luckily the piece covers this so it will be very un... You can't really tell. You'll just think it's a scratch or something. All right. Here it is all put together. I didn't do a step-by-step -step video because all you need is a screwdriver and a pair of channel locks. One screw holds on each leg on. And uh, this metal piece is held on by two screws. It jets out. And the flume uh, dampers hold on by two screws. It's very easy to install. I'd like to show you some of the features I like, which is this. You can uh, shovel out the ashes here. I thought that was neat. Um, the handle you don't actually keep on it. You keep on that little leg. There's a little thing. So you slide it on and use it to open the stove. And slide it closed. You can close the stove. That's cool. That way it doesn't get hot. Uh, of course, the removable burners, which are good. Yeah, let's not let that happen. That would have gone smoother, but the tool they gave me was already broken. <laughs> so yeah, next we'll uh, put it in the fireplace. We're just going to use it as an insert and uh, just you know set it directly in the fireplace and let the smoke go up the flume. Leave this open and uh, just kind of figure to use less wood this way. But I'll give you a review after this. A lot of you guys are like, why didn't you return it? Why did you weld it back together? Well, kind of, I just didn't want to have to deal with shipping things back and all that crap. And I was just like, yeah, I'll just weld it back together. So I looked over the instructions and it actually says it's a Volgen, Volge Zelzing. I think it's German for Buckstoke. Whatever. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was a knockoff that Harbor Freight was selling, but it's actually a uh, name brand stove. I take the top burner off and it helps it uh, get hotter and gets more oxygen. Anyway, so I just want to update that. has no uh, imprints on the side, just has like a little picture of wood burning. It's neat. I'm going to get some high heat paint for that where I welded it. Works good.